if if you're if if Satan is a powerful influencer, so if you've ever been mad enough to be ready to punch a fucking wall, then Satan had a hand in that. Satan was heavily involved in your life at that moment. Heavily involved in your life at that moment. Satan was in the room with you. He was chilling with you. He had his hand on you. If you were ever angry enough or disappointed enough to want to punch a wall, Satan had you under the influence. There's not one person in this world who ever committed suicide who was not under the influence of Satan. Nobody just kills herself for fun because they just feel like trying it out. They were all under the influence of Satan. Okay? If you ever punch the glass, you were under the influence of Satan. Whenever you did something that you didn't really want to do, you were under the influence of Satan. If you're ready to punch that motherfucking wall and I stop you and I calm you down and I say, do you want to punch that wall? You'd be like, no, I don't want to punch that wall. I'm angry. So I'm ready to punch that wall. You're under the influence of Satan. And you need to chill the hell out. See, getting upset, that's why the Most High told you don't get upset. In the Bible, the Most High said do not get angry or upset. It's not going to go well with you. Whenever you get upset, you are under the influence of Satan. You're demon possessed like a motherfucker. See what I'm saying? Whenever you get angry enough, listen, it's not just about... It's not just about you getting angry enough to punch a wall Because if you get angry enough to punch a wall you, that, that means you're angry enough to hurt yourself Which is a lower level of suicide Okay? Suicide is pain infliction to the point of death Right? So if you're ready to punch a wall You're not hurting the wall, you're hurting yourself It's a lower level of suicide Did you see what I mean? Satan, Satan, what Satan wants to do is he, he wants to take that same energy that you got and magnify it and get you to the point of suicide. That's why people will tell you. People will tell you that Satan's ultimate goal is to get you to commit suicide. They tell you this for a fucking reason, bro. Whenever you get angry, Satan's literally trying to get you to inflict pain. Either on yourself or on someone else. Because you ain't hurting that wall, nigga. You are not hurting that wall. You're not hurting that wall. Why do people, you see people walking around with their hand in the, um, in the thing and they say they punch somebody. Bro, because you tried to inflict pain on a person that end up hurting yourself because that head is a protect that head is protective. The most I created that head like that for a reason. It's protective against motherfuckers like you. That head ain't just like that, like that for no reason. It's a brain in there. It's protective. You 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 want to go up and punch somebody in the brain. And it's protective against you. You know how many people would be dead if it wasn't for that protective skull? Because somebody punched somebody in the brain. You, you weren't thinking like a surgeon. You weren't thinking like a doctor when you said, I'm going to punch this person in the brain. You weren't. You were thinking like a devil. Because Satan, Satan wants to surgically remove a motherfucker's vital organs out of their body. You know what I'm saying? Satan thinks that way. Satan says, I want to go for the most vital organ on this person's body, punch him in. Right? Ain't that right? You weren't thinking that way. Satan was thinking that way. So you are under the influence of Satan when you try to walk up to a person and punch him in their most vital organ of their body. You try to punch him in their most tender spot and broke your hand because it was protected by what the Most High gave them to protect it with. You think Satan likes the fact that people have, have um, scars, protective shields or over their most vital organ? Hell no, nah, Satan don't like that. So you know what Satan does? Satan sends people to boxing. And gets them to be able to um to um make their turn their hands and to leap through weapons to be able to crack a skull or to break a person's jaw, knock them out cold. You see what I'm saying? That's why most boxers and most people who you most all the fighters of your family, you everybody got that one family member that's just on go, ready to fight. That person is under the influence of Satan. Run around punching people in their shit. Listen, I'm telling you, it's not only about you wanting to go and punch a wall that makes you under the influence of Satan. If you're ready to inflict pain on yourself, makes you under the influence of Satan. And if you're ready to go and inflict pain on a person, I don't care how angry you are. If you take that energy and you're ready to go and inflict pain on another person, you are literally under the influence of Satan himself. You need to come out of this satanic lifestyle the satanic diet of eating you need to come out 
so that Satan is not so strong and powerful um, and have so, over your life, over your vessel. You know what I'm saying? You, everybody, listen, this is what people like to do. They like to get angry and then justify the reason why they got mad, right? Everyone can sit there and get angry and justify the reason why they got mad. But in the real world, it's really not justifiable because what you're doing is you are making excuses for fucking Satan. You're really making an excuse for Satan, yo. Satan comes to kill, steal, and destroy. So what he did was he just stole your vessel, took over your vessel, and used it as a destruction, as like a wrecking ball. He, he, he Listen, he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. He took over your vessel, which is stealing, because if you was to take somebody's car and it ain't yours, that's stealing. And then you take that car and you ram it into somebody or into somebody's home, then you, you, you stole the car and you used it to destroy something that wasn't somebody's home. You, see, you know what I'm saying? And why the fuck is you running through somebody's home if, you ain't, if your intent ain't to kill? He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And you let him take over your vessel, you see what I'm saying? People drinking this alcohol, it's wine and spirits. You're letting Satan come in and then you wind up doing something that you don't want to do. But I tell you, if I could come to you and sober you up real quick while you're sitting on the dance floor dancing with some nigga, if I could sober you up real quick and say, do you want to dance with this dude? You would turn around and be like, hell no. Nah. If you was to sober up, but if I get you on camera dancing with this dude for two, three hours and the next day I show you, you would ask your friend, why would you let me dance with this dude for two, three hours making a fool out of myself? Wow, look how he's touching on me. You let that man touch all on me like that. Wow, right? I'm telling you, that's when you're under the influence of Satan is when you're doing things that you really don't want to do. So listen, if you can pause in the moment, do it because you do have the power to do it. Pause in the moment before you punch that wall and say, do I really want to punch this wall? And you know you don't. Stop and you and, and this is what you do. You say I'm under the influence of Satan and, and you say Satan no, I rebuke you. I rebuke you. I'm not angry. I'm not mad I don't want to hurt nobody. I don't want to hurt myself. I don't want to destroy this wall. I Don't want to kill. I don't want to steal and I don't want to destroy Satan wants to do that not me You know what I'm saying not me. I don't want to do that when you think of kill, steal, and destroy, you're probably thinking about taking money and taking something from somebody. No. Satan comes to steal your body, take over your vessel. He comes in the form of liquid. He comes in juice. He comes in tap water. He comes in bottled water. He comes in soda. He comes in liquor, beer, Hennessy. Okay? Satan comes in cheese pizza. He comes in pork chop. He comes to steal, take over your vessel and use it as a demolition, use it as a demolition machine, a wrecking ball on the planet. Okay? That's why that girl Molly Cyrus made that song, I came in like a wrecking ball and she was half naked, swinging on a wrecking ball and knocking shit down. That's why. Don't give Satan power over your vessel. You have to think like this. You have to think like this, or you're going to be a victim. Okay? In the Bible, the Most High told you, do not get angry or upset. Don't do it. You have a demonic entity called Set, and you don't want to put Set up. Okay? Take it easy, y'all. Peace.